so guys we should start now so first of all like when i'm just talking about this particular topic that is planning seems to be very easy but difficult to implement okay because planning when it's come to from the perspective whether it is from the perspective of the organization or from the perspective of your personal planning or personal management or financial planning marketing planning in any aspect you're talking right now planning to done on paper is something very very different and yesterday even we discussed about that part the implementation okay because planning is something where we are right now and where we want to go from the scratch okay for example let us suppose a particular company we said we talk about the example of kia motors coming up with a new vehicle sereno definitely there should be some planning in advance or the time to launch that product in advance it is already being planned in the past and implemented in the future i am repeating once again planned in the past and implemented in the future the most important part of planning is that how a particular organization can think about the future and how that particular thinking about the future because see you have to be proactive here if i'm talking about if you want to become competitive in the market if you want to you could say grab the majority of the market share if you want to become innovative and uh, you could say uh, we can say the favorite uh, brand of the customer in such a cases planning is very very important like what the apple is doing in advance because apple is one of the most innovative company in the world okay when it's come to launching the new technology in the mobile phone or in telecommunication we can say we talk about philips philips always come up with something unique when it's come to their uh, you could say product so what's my point is that when we discuss about planning planning is basically something associated with forecast for accomplishment okay for example recently if you can see that the 5g uh, is basically 5g spectrum is already being uh, you could say given by the governments i think it is given by the government and uh, uh, now the companies are basically planning to launch 5g and want to test it in the metro city especially first okay and after the successful implementation of 5g in the metro cities they will actually target tier 2 and tier 1 cities as well now how this planning will come because we are talking about forecast for accomplishment because once the particular telecom company will launch Uh, the 5G spectrum of 5G network services, the mobile companies, mobile manufacturing companies are basically forced to launch the mobile phone which is compatible with the 5G technology. Okay, so today's projection for tomorrow's activity, 5G is uh, you could say uh, uh, data services. Mobile companies need to plan in advance about what to launch, how to launch, and even though we don't know because the companies never ever reveal. what they gone what would be their next step in order to sustain in the market okay so that is basically when we discuss about the planning part planning is basically more associated with two important thing based on futurity and ask a thing sorry as a thinking function based on futurity means anticipation of future okay any example i'll just quote you first then i'll definitely take the example from your end as well when i'm just talking about based on futurity it means that anticipation of future for example recently the covid vaccination now the different pharma companies are basically in the process to launch the covid pill or covid tablet we can say which can actually cure the uh, the symptoms of covid okay based on futurity because they know that this covid we never know that because it is like malaria we talk about dengue initially even we talk about hiv as well these are the basically the disease for which initially there was not having much more scientific growth but anticipation of future says that you have to be prepared what exactly the future scenario in the market same as a covid pill electric vehicle recently you can see the ola coming up with the new venture about they are about to launch the electric vehicle what the tata is doing what the tesla is doing what the uh, we get the concept initiated by the uh, we can say uh, mg hector or mg basically we can say morris garage 
Okay, so all these companies are basically based on futurity only. What is the future scenario of the market? Okay, thinking function, visionary approach. As you know that because whenever a particular company is being established in the market, the first and foremost thing that the purpose of establishment of the company, the reason of establishment of the company. Like we talk about Tata, we talk about Reliance, we talk about Amazon. each and every company having certain level of vision certain level of foresightedness that what exactly the purpose behind establishing that particular organization that is called your as a thinking function that is called visionary approach and first is basically called your anticipation of the future is this clear everyone this first slide is clear guys what is planning examples are clear as well because see guys this topic is all about examples so i hope so this would be clear to everyone can i have the confirmation chat box perfect now definition of planning the very basic definition of planning is that everything to decide in advance what to do how to do when to do who is to do now we'll take an example actually what to do what product is the company want to launch what innovation they want to come up with how to do the process the technology when to do the right time to launch and who is to do we who will be the target customer so when we discard about the planning is anything to decide in advance for what to do how to do when to do and who is to do it these four basic question will actually give you more clarity about what the planning is all about for example let anyone can who can unmute yourself the reason behind joining the iibm or reason behind you could say pursuing your higher degrees or higher education with iibm definitely there would be some planning behind that for everyone okay so like for example if i'll just take an example of anubhav can you please unmute yourself planning behind joining the higher education from iibm what is the purpose behind that what is the planning behind that yes anyone in the class can you click it also post in chat box guys first of all what to do you want to pursue an mba you want to pursue an mb different individual having different requirement yes rahul you can unmute yourself please So, Rahul, are there? Good evening, sir. Good evening, good evening, Rahul. So, first, am I audible? Of, like very first thing, uh, what you are what you are saying, Rahul? Am I audible? Yeah, you are audible, perfectly audible. Okay. So, uh, first thing, because planning about you could say pursuing your higher education, that is MBA or any uh, PGD M course or whatever it could be, mm -hmm. what to do? That is about the you need to understand first that whether I want to pursue my MBA. or mphil or phd whatever it could be there is a reason behind that that is what to do is exactly what you want to achieve you want to do in mba in marketing mba in finance mba in hr mba in operation mba in analytics whatever it could be how to do it you will choose the institution when to do immediate after one year after two years after graduation after marriage it's up to you after you are getting a good placement in the company who is to do it for whom you are doing this particular mba for your professional growth for your employer we can say okay sir, who is to do it means target audience in in the okay. term, in, for example in the terms of you could say uh means uh, basically for whom yes 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 target customer definitely in a general sense for example let us suppose uh, when i'm just talking so basically in my case uh, why i am uh, pursuing this mba because uh, that uh, i just want to set up a uh, like diagnostic center okay mm. over here uh, and that's why i, I am uh, pursuing mba in hospital management okay good okay so that, uh, that is my motivation great great 
so sir in uh, please uh, take it as an example and explain that yeah definitely we see because see definitely you belong to the field of uh, medical or we can say hospital so somehow mm-hmm. you want to you could say pursue your degree uh, basically you have some uh, you could say aim in the mind that you want to go abroad or anything else apart from this what to do exactly you want to do an mb in hospital administration you want to do any certification for the same okay there are various option when you want to upgrade your knowledge or skills in your own field what to mm-hmm. do how to do it you will uh, see different institutions then okay mm-hmm. different online institution offline institutions different state state universities those who are providing this uh, you could say uh, degree courses when to do like either like you are eligible for mba eligible for pg because there are certain courses certain master courses in which the person is eligible only when who having some background of some uh, you could say uh, health healthcare professionals or you must have certain level of experience to pursue mm-hmm. this degree as well means a background criteria yes 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 okay and who is to do it definitely in your case it might be for your business mm-hmm. you want to serve society that is your uh, target audience or mm-hmm. if you are looking for a good job a good employer attractiveness towards your employer indian employer or employer from us as well so that is who is okay. clear mm mm-hmm. yes sir okay okay yeah yes definitely good adam good bindu fine guys understood guys everyone what is the definition of planning in a very very simple sense okay let's move to the next slide then types of plan now okay now there are basically four different type of plans we have the first is called your sorry operational plan tactical plan strategic plan and contingency plan we'll discuss one by one of this part first is called your operational plan operational plan means specific result expected from department for example a particular uh, uh, we can say a uh, we could say food franchisee and that food franchisee let us suppose belong to different cities in india what the company is expecting out of them because whenever you are giving any franchisee or whenever you are opening different outlets in india for example uh, suppose the initial level what are what are remember about that uh, natural ice cream okay they started from uh, juhu actually in mumbai and now they have spreaded their uh, you could say branches or spread their outlets in different part of india as well okay now the my, my area is that because operational plan is nothing but how the sales can be improved in different cities okay because whenever the company is expanding whenever the company is basically looking after to you could say increase their business so different department having some uh, we can say targets up front in order to provide the benefit to the company in terms of revenue generation okay important thing is that operational plans are basically more associated with target based like for example you belong to any insurance company and you are an insurance advisor you need to sell the insurance policies the operational plan would be how the companies are basically targeting the employees tar- uh, sorry targeting the customers and their main important thing is that number of policies which they can sell out in a particular month because they have a monthly target of that. the example i quoted i think in this particular slide as well any banking employee the especially like those who are like you belong to private banks uh, there is very good chances that the companies are basically more about casa casa means current account and saving account and they have a very uh, intense target okay to open 100 casa account in a month 200 casa account in a month uh, this particular demat account in a month so that it's very very typical job for them to open the accounts from the public okay that is called the operational plan where the particular departments always having the targets up front clear guys second one we have types of operational plan now there are two types of operational plan we have the first is called single use plan and second one is called continuous or ongoing plan for example if you are launching any project if you are developing any product okay any particular plan which will be used or which is unique in nature is called single use plan continuous plan means any policy any procedure any rules any documentary 
everything will come under continuous or ongoing plan. Okay, so that exactly two different type of operation plan: single use that is unique. Second one is what what continuous plan. Clear, guys? Types of operation plan. Sure. Next one we have the tactical plan. Now, any particular plan which is for short period of time, which is for you could say a plan which is for only one year period of time to achieve the short term targets of the company. Okay. For example, let us suppose any marketing company is basically facing lot of challenges when it's come to its sales revenue. So, for a particular six month of time or three month of time. They are, you could say, uh, giving the product on very high discount to the customer, so that they can at least increase their revenue. They can at least increase their revenue. So any particular plan, any strategy, any tactics the company do follow in order to achieve some short term targets is called your tactical plan. Example is also clear, guys. It's very simple, I think so. Second one, we have strategic plan. Strategic plans always do remember, guys. These plans are long term in nature. and strategic plans are basically keeping in consideration the goal of the company because strategy word is basically something which will actually enroute a particular department enroute a particular organization okay yes rafi cool it's correct flip card discount would be tactical plan a strategic plan basically is basically giving some long term impact in the success of the company long term impact in success of the company for example you are hiring any celebrity for your uh, brand endorsement you do remember that digit insurance advertisement done by virat kohli okay any new company whenever they are coming up with some uh, you could say new option or new product or something uh, else we can say they always need to understand that what sort of strategy they need to opt to to uh, you could say uh, create some brand image in the mind of the customer like what the mg did actually initially recently you get the hyundai i think which is being done by shahrukh khan very huge impact on the sales of the company okay we talk about various uh, you could say organization like especially amitabh bachchan if you can say that extreme popularity when it's come to uh, you could say endorsing a particular brand because see these are the strategies guys marketing strategies to whom to opt okay who will promote your product okay so that exactly planning any planning which is for long term in nature will be considered as strategic plan and it is usually being done by top management in the organization okay then we have the next one is called your contingency plan contingency plan means based on situation based on the problem in the company you are going for alternatives for example contingency plan for uh, i will take an example of tata nano over here okay because tata nano initially launch had a great success not a great success i can say very very moderate success initially when when the product was launched but slowly gradually the brand image of tata nano is like a dabba it dabba vehicle it is being usually called actually and people do have very uh, different branding or brand image of tata nano in their mind and they are not all purchasing that actually that product at all because of so many reasons okay because somehow whenever you are launching any product you always need to keep in mind that how the organization can create the image of the product in the mind of the customer and that image is called brand equity okay that is called your contingency plan how the company will revive the image of the product like maruti did actually as well with launching with nexa okay clear guys what is contingency plan guys because there are so many examples up front we have okay anubhav contingency plan yeah see contingency plan is basically based on situations okay because some unexpected event or unexpected uh, you could say uh, things occur and for the pace for that particular purpose you have to change your strategies like we talk about pandemic 
once the pandemic starts i think in 2020 each and every organization actually moved to the work from home options at that time because the company need to prepare their contingency plan to run their business again like same we talk about the education sector as well you have to opt the alternative to go for online examination online assessment online online uh, delivery of the lecture online notes as well but previous things were very different because offline teaching and online teaching are very different actually but the companies the organization has come up with their contingency plan to keep the things intact and you are still going with the pace what it uh, what it was being you could say initially and rooted yes mahesh definitely it's a backup plan we can say but backup plan is basically something planned in advance try to understand guys contingency plan is basically when the situation rises at the time you think upon is called your contingency unexpected event mahesh clear <laughs> yes yes rafikul yeah we can say because see it is alternative plan uh, see alternative plan sandeep it is again very different okay contingency plans are basically designed immediately on an urgent basis based on the scenario of the company okay 